Learn and play online. Telling the time. Quarter past times. Be sure to check out our other video first. This video is based on a worksheet. You can find the link to the worksheet in the description box. Make sure you pause the video as many times as you need. Let's have a look at question number one. The instruction says, draw the hands on the clocks as they appear in the video and write the digital times for each. Now we're going to look at question A. Look at where the hands on the clock are and draw them on your worksheet. Pause the video now and take the time to draw the hands on your clock. Now let's closely examine where the hands are pointing. The minute hand is pointing to the three, so that means 15 minutes has passed the hour. The hour hand is just past the eight, so that means the digital time will say 8.15. It is quarter past eight. Let's move on to question B. Look at where the hands on the clock are and draw them on your worksheet. Now let's closely examine where the hands are pointing. The minute hand is pointing to the three, so that means 15 minutes has passed the hour. The hour hand is just past the one, so that means it is 1.15, or quarter past one. Now it's your turn to have a go. Make sure you pause the video now to give yourself time to answer these questions. There will be a countdown before we show you the answers. The time for question C is 3.15 or quarter past three. The time for question D is 12.15 or quarter past 12. Now let's move on to question two. The instruction says, for each of the questions below, draw the hands for the clocks. Let's start with question A. If the digital time was 5.15, draw the hands on the analog clock to show this. This is what your clock should look like. Let's move on to question B. Draw the hands on the analog clock to show that the time is 9.15. This is what your clock should look like. Moving on to question C and D. Read the digital times and draw the hands on your analog clocks. Here is how your clocks should look. Now let's move on to the last four questions of the worksheet. For question E, if the time was quarter past 11, draw the hands on your analog clock to show this. This is what your clock should look like. Moving on to the next question. Draw the hands on your analog clock to show quarter past four. This 
This is what your clock should look like. Moving on to the last two questions. Read the times in the boxes below and draw the hands for the analog clocks above. Make sure you pause the video now to give yourself time to answer these questions. There will be a countdown before we show you the answers. Here is how your clocks should look. We hope you got all the answers correct. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.